the 6000X Waveflex Hand CPM Unit is designed to provide for composite fist flexion to the hand. Lightweight and easy to use, the Waveflex is ideal for both home and clinical settings. Each Waveflex comes with a CPM main actuator, a set of finger actuators, programmable controller, power supply, and batteries. Also included are a large-sized splint, finger strip bandages, VHB tape, finger clips, and a Phillips screwdriver. To begin, apply a new splint to the forearm with the distal end of the splint extending to the middle of the MP joints. Then fold the sides of the splint to contour to the forearm in hand. Then tighten the Velcro straps. Next, attach the finger clips. First, apply the fully adhesive side to the VHB pad to the underside of the finger clip. Then, peel the backing off the exposed side of the pad and adhere the clip to the fingernail, positioning the finger clip to align with the end of the finger. To complete the attachment, peel and wrap a finger strip around the finger and the finger clip. Clamp the CPM actuator to the splint by loosening the lock knob and sliding the actuator onto the splint's mounting bracket. Position the actuator so the center of the large round hinge aligns with the center of the MP joints. You may also want to adjust the actuator laterally or medially to make room for the thumb. When adjusted correctly, tighten the lock knob. Now, attach the finger actuators to the finger clips by rolling them into the finger clip until you hear them engage. Ensure that the B clasps are open. Then, detach the finger actuators, pinch together with B clasps, and slide the actuator out of the finger clip. The 6000X Waveflex comes equipped with three medium-sized finger actuators and one small-sized finger actuator. Additional finger actuators in small, medium, and large sizes are available separately. To replace or rearrange finger actuators for a left or right hand setup, remove the black actuator bar with a Phillips screwdriver and slide the finger actuators off the bar. Rearrange or replace as desired. With patient setup complete, we're now ready to program the CPM controller. First, install four AA batteries. Plug the controller cable into the CPM actuator. To program range of motion, turn the unit on. The on-off button is located on the side of the hand controller. The controller momentarily flashes all the system icons and then permanently displays the present setting. To set range of motion, press the set button. A yellow set light will appear indicating the controller is ready to receive new programming. To program extension, press the extension button. The LCD screen will display the extension icon and the currently programmed extension setting. Change the setting by pressing the plus or minus button to increase or decrease the setting. To program flexion, press the flexion button. The flexion icon will appear in the display window. Simply program in the desired amount of flexion by pressing the plus or minus button to increase or decrease the range. Once programming is complete, press the set button again to store the settings in the controller's memory. Note that the yellow indicator light goes out or leave the controller in set mode and continue setting other operating features. To program speed while still in the set mode, press the speed button. The LCD screen will now display the rabbit or tortoise, depending on the present speed setting. Increase or decrease speed with the plus or minus buttons. To program pause while still in the set mode, press the pause button. The LCD screen will now display the pause hourglass icon and the extension hand flex icons. Choose one or both extension and flexion. Then increase or decrease pause with the plus or minus buttons. When programming is complete, 
Press the Set button again to store the settings in the controller's memory. To begin treatment, press the yellow Start-Stop button on the hand controller. The WaveFlex also offers a warm-up feature, which begins patient treatment with 50% less range of motion, then gradually works up to the full range of motion over several cycles. Please refer to the Direction for Use Manual for complete operating instructions and device specifications, or call your local OrthoAgility representative with any questions.